the answer to me problems is sitting in that room. But I don't know if I should go through with it. We've come so far. Don't turn back now. I know you risked your life getting us down here. But what if the psycho's the only thing keeping me together? What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain. Things I didn't want to face. Things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. We'll face that pain together. You... you've already done so much, but you keep offering to do more. Well, who the hell am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. Are you all right, Kate? How are you feeling? Strange. I feel really strange. Everything feels... different. Everything feels... clearer. Colors. Sounds. Smells. Nothing is like I remember. I... I can't believe it worked. The cravings, the pain, hell, even the rush. They've disappeared. Was I really that far gone? The pain's gone too? I wouldn't say I'm at my best, but something's changed. That sick feeling, the pain, it's gone from stabbing to dull. I don't know, maybe some of it was in me head. Doesn't matter. I haven't felt this good in a long time. I'm glad you're all right. I was worried about you. Seems you're not the only one. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old bastard kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up, and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. I guess he saw something in you that I missed. I take care of my friends. I know you do. Look, I'm never gonna forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're gonna get out of me. Now, how about we get out of here, and leave this place far behind?
We all pitched in and want you to have this. You're a hero, you know that? Oh, here we go. Quiet, Jimmy. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent radio from ever being invented. But Tim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Look, oh. Ivan. That's I enough. I think we know what we're doing. Him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay. What's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs to that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell Yefim that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Do you really think they're gone? The Institute? Maybe. I still don't feel The Commonwealth without the Institute. God is true. This place looks interesting. Hey, Hello. you're that bald dweller. What are you saying? Bobrov's best. His greatest moonshine ever to cross wow. the ocean. Wow. 
very strong, though. Two shots, you pass out on floor. Guaranteed. You don't know me very well, do you? If you've got a record for number of shots done here, I'll double it. Record is mine. Fourteen shots in less than two minutes. If you beat, I give them to you for free. You lose, you pay double. Uh, maybe I'll just have some scotch? Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. It's true. I've seen it with my own eyes. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Gonna need some more information. Okay. I have this all thought out. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at Daga. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? All right, I'm in. Ah, I knew I could count on you. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Did you hear? They say the railroad took on the Institute and won. That's crazy, right? Now a swatter. That's a real one. Talk to Moe Cronin. Got work to do. Did you see the explosion? That blimp the Brotherhood had. The whole sky was on fire. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. You look like you could use a drink. Dugout Inn has got some cold ones. Everyone, anyone. Gaver. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes they get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two headed cow meat? Yeah, Princess. Weirder than that. Mirelurk, bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Maybe later. Huh. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trimmed. You won't regret it. Prescription Do you have a minute? Still, I think I we should talk. Right here. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. 
Because this isn't easy for me to say, but I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Fault 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in my life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's all right, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am, for better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? To tell you the truth, we're both a little screwed up. Perfect match for one another. I can't argue with that. This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you, I mean to make the most of it. I know an X-Raider when I see one. Make sure your friend plays nice inside the wall. Need you some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications! Right Scopes! You know, I sold McDonough that gun he had. If I had known what he was... Uh... I've got a few minutes to browse. Something for everyone.
Want to do something fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. Read the public and be prepared. New issue of public occurrences. I wish I could have been there when you kicked Mayor McDonough's butt. Thank you for finding Earl's killer. Can't believe the doctor would do such a thing. Oh well, at least we have liquid to drown our sorrows. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Just looking. Eh, your call. I'm just... I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. You tell him! But... but what's this about? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? Oh! But, but what's this about? I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. Hey, you tell what's him. your problem? I'd like you to leave Travis alone. Yeah, well, I like Chameleon Caps. Looks like both of us are gonna be disappointed today. Now get the hell out of here. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. I'm here to give you a hand. I, I, I mean, I'm not really looking to cause, you know, trouble. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Just shut up and go along with the plan. Uh, okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Hmm, nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll... I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you, and your friend here. Get lost. I, I don't, I don't, uh... Okay, I usually don't... Oh, God. This 
is why. This is why. Adim. What the hell is wrong with you? You were supposed to help Travis in fight, not murder people in my bar. Why would you think this is okay? I'm really sorry, Vadim. I guess I just lost my temper. I am thinking perhaps I have invited Psychopath to help with this plan. <sighs> I will try and fix the situation which you have made messing of. In meantime, I need you to not kill anyone and help with the rest of the plan. Okay? You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Apparently, I also need to say, please do not be killing anyone. Okay? This is for helping Travis, not murdering for fun. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Glad you Miss? I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No, no, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Great 
ever been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Men came in. They said they were friends of the ones you killed. Uh, said Vadim owed them money because of what happened. He, he wouldn't pay. And then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I, I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. seen Vadim. He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yufim thought you might know where they took him. What? That's... that's not a funny joke. Like, at all. You think this is a joke? <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh... oh man, wow, is this... this is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... it's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Oh, come on. They would have walked all over your sorry arse forever. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. It's probably gonna be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. I'm not... I, I'm not stupid. I know that. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brew. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Advice. Never call your mother a cent, unless she really is one. Need new clothes? Should stop by Ballot's basement. Open during the day. Oh, sure. And what am I supposed to wear? Thank God, you're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... 
We're gonna be okay, right? You know anything else about this brewery? Not really. I mean, I think it's... It's where their little gang hides out. There shouldn't be too many of them. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Right. Calm. I can do calm. Calm, 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 calm. Okay. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? There's a smell I'm never gonna forget. Ugh. in us. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they... They did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, I promise. I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. May as well. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Hey, you might want to check this stuff out. <clears throat> Man, what a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. In my opinion, it's a miracle you're alive. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly. You know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you.
Place hasn't been empty long. Magic or something. Could always get some caps for that, I suppose. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. 
Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. Here's where they are. I hope you can help them. We've got to show people they can count on the men and women. really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. If you can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece, anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of him for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do, 